I have been traveling all across this country, and some of what I have seen is almost beyond belief to imagine that it is happening in America in the year 2016. I was in Flint, Michigan, talking to parents whose children have been poisoned by lead in the water. I was in Detroit, Michigan, where their public school system is on the verge of collapse. And I am here today in Baltimore, Maryland, where in Baltimore, Maryland, in the richest country in the history of the world, one out of every four people lives in poverty, where 80% of the children in Baltimore's public school system are poor enough to qualify for free or reduced price school lunch, where poverty in Baltimore and throughout this country, poverty is a death sentence. Now, people don't know this. They well, you're poor, that's not good. You don't have a fancy TV, you don't go out to eat. That's not the issue. If you are born in Baltimore's poorest neighborhood, your life expectancy is almost 20 years shorter than if you were born in its wealthiest neighborhood. 15 neighborhoods in Baltimore have lower life expectancies than North Korea. Two of them have a higher infant mortality rate than the West Bank in Palestine. Baltimore teenagers between the ages of 15 and 19 face poorer health conditions and a worse economic outlook than those in distressed cities in Nigeria, India, China, and South Africa. We are talking about the United States of America in the year 2016 in a country in which the top one-tenth of one percent now owns almost as much wealth as the bottom 90 percent. In this country, we are going to make profound economic changes. The people on top will not continue to accumulate billions of dollars in personal wealth, while children in Baltimore and inner cities throughout this country go hungry, have inadequate health care, inadequate education.